So we are at the stage now where we have only two jobs left really and that is to hem the dress and put the little snap fastener on at the neckline. So the lining of the dress has to be hemmed and the actual dress itself. Now when we were cutting out the dress we laid up the lining and the dress together and used the same pattern piece. So that means the lining is actually the same length as the dress. So we need the lining to be shorter. Okay, so the best way to do that is, as you can see, we have our notches from our hem. Okay, on the lining, there's a full four centimeters hem allowance on that lining, which we don't need. So simply cut off that four centimeters. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the whole dress flat, okay, lining up my front and my back, making sure that the hem is sitting edge to edge. So basically what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of the four centimetre hem allowance off my lining because you don't need that on your lining, okay? I would do it by eye, but I probably shouldn't. So I'm just going to mark the pencil the four centimetres the whole way along. Okay, but at the same time I have my notch on my seam allowance, so I can follow that just to be sure. And we're literally going to cut off that four centimetres hem allowance. And that means that when we hem this, we know for sure that it's not going to hang down below the finished length of the dress. So I like to do a double turn on my lining, so because that just keeps it really clean and neat. So there is a little bit of an A-line, so we're not going to do too big of a hem because otherwise that will just cause problems up the top. So I'm just going to do a two centimetre double turn. So I'm going to fold up two centimetres and then I'm going to fold up another two centimetres. Okay like that, and then that's going to get stitched. Okay, so as usual, I tend to just do things by eye, which is not very good, I know. So two centimetres, okay, just to show you what I'm doing there. So I'm folding up two centimetres. And then once you've got that first two centimetres measured, you know you literally can just fold again. Okay, so you can pin that up the whole way around. Two centimeters and then fold up again. Check my two centimeters as I go. Yeah, no harm to actually press that first before you actually stitch it. And that would actually make it a little bit easier for you. But just for the purpose of continuity on the video, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to make sure I have enough pins the whole way around, and I do. Okay, and then we simply pop that under the machine and sew up my two centimeters. So always start at a seam. I'm literally sewing along the edge of where I folded. Okay. 
keep it nice and taut okay keep a little bit of a pull and that will help keep the whole thing nice and straight for you okay and see if you can get a better angle and a little bit closer so I'm literally sewing along that edge there okay and I'm keeping it nice and taut as I go So, I obviously didn't quite get my two centimeters there. So by keeping it taut, it will absorb some of that little bit of ease. Okay, so it's really quite important to pull that quite tight as you sew. quite tight so if I didn't I wouldn't actually be able to get that so because of the little bit of flare and a little bit of air be fine okay that'll all press out perfectly and you've got a nice clean nice two centimeter hem on the end of your lining 